In this video, what we're gonna do is cover the steps of what to do for a body recomp. So for those of you that's been on holiday or you've kinda fell off because you haven't been training for a few months or longer, in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step things to do. Also, me showing my personal experience vlogging it day by day after coming back off holiday. And you can see between like the 10 to 14 days I do it, you can see the improvements that I made. What is good people, right now this is the last day in Miami Man, I'm interested to see how much weight I gained from all this food This is the last bad meal you guys are going to see me have So I'm going to be back on the grind after today Like usually I'm more reserved on holidays but Give you the taste test before I go That's that shit <laughs> Alright people, I'll see you guys probably at the airport So this morning I flew in and I was more or less thinking how am I going to get myself back into shape and I thought why not document this I get asked this quite a lot like how do you lose your holiday weight and what's a good optimal way to do it and I weighed myself out this morning and it was around 176 pounds which is a little bit heavier than I left because I left at 168 pounds so I gained like 6 to 8 pounds if you've watched the vlogs of when I was travelling you saw the foods I was having Oreo milkshake guys I got to try all these restaurants I've never seen before, Denny's, IHOP, Panda Express, Chick-fil-A. If you haven't watched those vlogs, go see them because then you'll see the build-up as to here. So day zero, as I'm literally just gonna relax today. No training, no cardio. For the very first day when I actually like arrive back home, as long as it's not in, like late in the evening, what I'll normally do is just drink a lot of fluids and up my fiber, so basically, flush out all the foods I've been eating while I've been away. So day zero, I basically call the cleansing phase or the cleansing day. So I'm not technically going back to like my normal diet straight away because this little body recomposition phase I'm gonna do, it's not just body fat. It's gonna be quite a lot of water weight as well because traveling, the flying, the crazy amounts of sodium in the foods I was eating. 10 days of just eating basically just takeaway foods virtually for every single meal. So anyway, yeah, day zero is the cleansing phase. So I'm gonna have probably two bowls of brown flakes today, and then I'll probably just be drinking as much water as I can. And then tomorrow I'll be training, and then every few days I'll probably show you a snapshot of my physique. It's day one, people. First thing we gotta do is actually go buy some actual food that'll actually be nutritious for me to eat. I'm not gonna get into that point of tracking macros, anything like that at this current point. The main thing is really just to get back to eating regular foods I would normally eat, um, rather than obviously having non-stop IHOP and, and all that type of takeaway stuff I was having abroad. So that's gonna be the phase one, literally. Yesterday was the cleansing. I can honestly say that it's maybe TMI. I went to the bathroom like five to six different times yesterday, like went to the bathroom. And then I'll probably try and go to the gym today as well. It's definitely gonna be like something light. Because when you're starting back the gym after not going regular for a while, you're gonna get severe dumb. So personally, I don't go right back into my main routine and I don't think anyone really should because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be so sore that you probably can't train for like four or five days. If I can't train for like four or five days, that's kind of wasted a good period of time where I could have been trying to recomp my physique. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go to probably Asda uh, just because I feel like having salmon and egg noodles because I've missed making that meal. That was a lot more stuff than I had actual planned. I only came here for salmon, eggs, and egg noodles, and somehow I ended up spending 22 pounds worth of stuff. It is good stuff, so it just means that I haven't got to do a massive shop on the weekend. So in case you didn't see, basically all I got was vegetables, sweet potatoes, salmon, prawns, bagels, egg noodles, some peanut butter. The peanut butter is to put on my rivetas. I've been having that a lot more. And there's a bunch of other stuff that I got in there as well. Um, I'm a coffee guy now, by the way. Anyways, so today's day one, which is buying the food and basically going back to the gym, like a very quick 40 minute session. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Before I do that, it probably makes sense for me to actually show you the date because that would make sense. Okay, don't. can you see that? It's focused on my face, but you get the gist. All right, people, it is day two right now. So what I'm gonna do is quickly weigh myself. Yesterday, my little basic gym session was fine. <laughs> Literally touched everything very lightly. So I'm gonna weigh myself now. All right, day three of the vlog, people. 
So right now we are going to the gym. So today is going to be the first decent gym session. Obviously on day one, I did like a light touch of everything. Day two, I actually didn't go to the gym. I felt pretty sore for, you know, let me give it one day rest. And then today go back to doing like a bit more proper split. So today I'm going to do upper body. It's actually around, what, half 10. As I haven't trained in a minute properly, I'm going to be using this my protein product it's called The Pump. It's meant to be a pre-workout that you can take at night. This is the rainbow sherbet flavor. And yes, as you can see, I'm still yet to unpack my stuff even though I've been home for like four days or whatever now. So yeah, I'm kind of slacking. But yeah, all oh, right now what am I doing? <laughs> I'm watching Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the gym. <laughs> What is good? It's another day and it's day five. Uh, two days ago, I did an upper body session. Yesterday, I did cardio. I didn't do legs. So I'm going to do that today. Um, yeah, and I'm probably going to show you a quick bit of my physique now. I'm going to put the camera down. Bear in mind, I'm in boxes purely because sometimes people want to see legs and whatnot. So just bear that in mind. Even, okay, relax, it still looks a bit flat. But if I tense, it still looks better than when I tensed it originally. Uh, but yeah, let's go weigh ourselves. All right, let's see what this is. Well, I can see what it is. <laughs> Boom. I am 173 pounds, I think that just said. The aim, I'm not going to even have an aim, I don't want to have like a scale number. Chase, I know I left 168. The main thing is if I visually start looking better. So we'll just see whatever weight I fall at. Um, I'm also going to commit to actually pack away my stuff, because literally, as you've seen in this video, the suitcase is still there and I haven't cleaned up either. Right people, it is day 6 right now. So I'm going to show you my quick way in and explain. <laughs> Yesterday I had a little tiny setback, but I'm cool with it. Let's put you guys. Focus. Yeah. But basically, uh, yesterday I went and watched The Joker at cinemas. So I went to a midnight showing as well. So I had a decent sized hot dog. And I also had a, like a large popcorn. So obviously that hasn't fully digested through my system. So I know that's still making me feel a little bit still puffy. I know you can still still see some of my abs. Well I can tell by my face is still somewhat puffy as well. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, obviously it's kind of fluctuating my weight and how I feel physically. Uh, but after like another day or two I'll be fine. Alright guys, you wanna know how the rest of the day went? I went to go to the gym, thought, you know what, my legs still feel super sore up from like when I did leg day, the first proper weighted leg session. So I thought, let me just go do cardio, just kind of warm my legs up, and in the evening I'll probably come back and do weights. So I go do cardio, and basically on one of the machines I went on, there was like a sharp bit sticking out, and this shit just sliced right through my train, and look at that shit. If you look carefully, there is this blood. Obviously I took off this shoe, and I saw obviously it went through my sock, and it cut my foot. But, Jesus, I just look how it destroyed the shoe. So interesting update, wasn't it? Yeah, TJ chopped his foot open. Anyway, let's show you some of the food I'm gonna cook right now. So we've got ourselves some asparagus and tender stem broccoli. Don't think I've really ever had tender stem broccoli. So I'm gonna try that out. And then obviously we have the Shazan chicken, AKA the nice skinless chicken already for me. Super juicy, super full of protein. And I'm probably going to have a sweet potato with it as well. I'm going to attempt to actually cook the, the broccoli and asparagus in an air fryer because I bought one. So I've just got to try and test this out because usually the reason I hate veg the most is that I can never cook it properly. It usually just tastes like bags of water. So I'm trying to make it so it's actually crunchy, not too like just soggy. All right, I steamed them in the air fryer. And on first taste, it's definitely crunchier than how I normally cook it. Right guys, we are on day seven. So I went myself just for 172 pounds. So, yeah. So that's what the core's looking like, the arms and stuff. Quick one. We are about to weigh ourselves. Ooh, the chest looks pretty broad on this, in this shot. Uh, don't mind me people, I'm somewhat tired. The main thing I can say is, whatever weight I am on the scale, I am definitely starting to look better to I'm gonna say, even at the whatever weight I am now, I look almost the same, if not potential. I don't know if I look better, I can't remember thoroughly if I look better than before. Uh, I didn't have the full six pack completely before I left, I'm not low enough in body fat. So I'm debating whether I can just stop today, or tomorrow, in honesty, regardless of what the scale says. But that means that if the scale is super high, I'm like, oh, I can go further. Why is my scale not working? <laughs> it's like God's tend to me now, come on. Oh, there you go. 
Right, let's have a check of this physique, mate. All right, so this is what we're looking like. 170 pounds. I think for the purpose of this vlog, I've set up what I wanted to achieve. I don't feel bloated. I feel back to how I felt before I left. I'm um, still a few, about three pounds heavier than when I did leave. But in honesty, I don't want to make this vlog about chasing a number on a scale. Like a lot of people may watch it and get the wrong idea and think, oh, when I go away, I've got to come back the exact same way. That's not the aim. The aim is to just try and look closer to what you look like and definitely don't feel sluggish and don't feel lazy. In the gym, I can speak on that bit and say that I'm not 100% back to training with the same efficiency of what I did before I left. But I've still been getting into the routine. I'm still doing the upper body, lower body routine. Maybe another week or, or half a week, I can go back to doing my push pull legs regular routine. So I haven't got to uh, do the upper body lower one no more. But, but yeah, man, this is the physique so far. I feel like my legs is more pale than upper body. Um, yeah, man, overall, for those of you that go on holiday, try and not hold it against yourself. Hopefully some of these tips in this video should help. And most of all, take it easy, man. A lot of people try and jump right back into their regular routine. And that's what sets them up for failure, either mentally or physically, because they injure themselves because they can't lift what they lift beforehand. But yeah, so far we have been the same way for the past few days now. It's been 170.8 pounds. Um, haven't managed to get past that. Not that I've been excruciatingly trying. I haven't really been doing much cardio as of late. The one thing I have done actually is actually up my calories. So yeah, I started tracking my calories. Uh, so I'm currently having 2,000 to 2,100 calories. So uh, yeah, so that's basically my aim. And if you're wondering how much calories I was having before, up until this point, it was around 1,700 to 1,800 calories. And I can't lie, I did think it was more. Because the very first day I tracked, I was just tracking what I was currently having, just have an estimate of what I'm doing to see if I was along the right track. And I could see that I was having quite a bit low calories for what I'm doing. Like, I'm not deep into a cut, so I shouldn't be having that low. And the extra 300 calories has been really nice. One, I feel more full all the time. And, oh, I just feel better. Basically, when cutting or recomping or whatever, you should want to be having as much calories as you can while still seeing progress. You don't want to drop them too quick because you're just going to feel depleted, lethargic and tired. You wanna try and have as much as you can. We are back from the gym, people. See that? It's called hard work and sweat gains. We bond off around flipping 400 calories on the elliptical machine. I didn't have it in me to do the uh, the actual stepper machine after leg day. My legs were killing me. I managed to do that, but right now I'm gonna show you quickly what I'm gonna eat. Number one, we have the, uh, we've got sweet potatoes in there being cooked. We also have me about to cook half a pack of steak mince. We are also going to have that with half a pack of veg. I rarely track the vegetables, to be honest, just because I'm just trying to eat as much as possible and there's such low calories. That being said, I do track sweet potatoes. The veg I don't track is like the green leafy type veg. But like sweet potatoes, because they have a little more calories with them and carbs, I do track those. People, it's finally that time. It's, oh, damn it, unlocked. Hold on. <laughs> it is day 14. We've made it. Oh, flipping out of focus, bitch. It's day 14. Uh, so I'm, I'm running late so I'm gonna go to work so what I'm gonna do is obviously train as usual today and then technically because 14 is the full day that means I get the full 14 today to actually do what I'm doing and tomorrow morning he's gonna do that but till then ooh, this is what I'm gonna do buzz off this shit what is good people right now we're on the day 15 uh, ignore the plaster basically when I was shaving my face I thought you know what after looking back over the footage why not kind of trim it up, it's going to be bushy and the next thing I know it's and it literally burnt like hell. Anyways, what we're doing right now is going to review and kind of go through the step-by-step -step process of this body recomp. I'm going to literally try and bullet point it all out, sit down and get back to you easily. But this is a physique uh, as it stands right now. If, oh, I'm going to show you this, the weight on screen. So yeah, no, 169.8, that's what it was. Um, so yeah, we're under the 170s, which I'm happy with. But in honesty, if you remember the footage earlier on the video, I was happy when I was at 170. But anyways, oh, I can see the reflection in the back in it. How do, I, how do I do it? There you go. So you can see in the mirror if you look, that's the back, so you can see both angles. I can't even flex properly, it hurts. But yeah, man, thank you for sticking tuned with the video. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button so far, you are slacking. So do it, I'm waiting. You ain't done it yet. Hit that like button. All right, thanks, now see you in a second. All right, wise good people, we are about to round up this video and I thought why not sit down and probably structure things out because throughout the vlog I did give you little tips throughout but in case some of you missed them, I'm going to more or less lay them out quickly. So what I did was make notes of the main key things I did throughout the video. 
Um, not everything I did from day one, if you watched the vlog, I slowly incremented them in. But everything I'm about to list, the quicker you do them, the more results you'll get and faster. However, I'm factoring in the fact that most people can't do everything from day one. When you fell off and you're trying to get back into shape, it's very rare that you're able to do everything from the first day and, and stick to it. So just do it as and when you feel like you can do it. For example, I didn't start tracking calories or macros till like basically like near the damn near end, purely because I don't think I would have really stuck to that from day one because it would have been such an annoyance coming from holiday to something so restrictive in tracking. So anyways, the first thing that I obviously did was I upped my fire for the very first day and also increased my fluid intake. Uh, the fluid intake stayed consistent throughout the whole period. And the step number two is going back to eating proper food. So actually cooking your meals. So if you're someone that was obviously, I don't know why you're in your off period, not really gymming and also eating a lot more takeaways and foods that you're not cooking yourself. Just try and get back to having a better nutrition. If you do have the, the mental strength to go track macros and calories and straight away, then that's also beneficial just to figure out where you are. But for me personally, I, I didn't want to do that from day one. So I just did the simple thing of cooking my own meals so I'm not having takeaway food and trying to make a level of consistency in my meals. Uh, the next thing was I purposely said, do not rush yourself to try and go back to your previous uh, gym routine or weights or whatever you was lifting, purely because if you've took a good period off from the gym or even you've just been slacking for even two weeks, your body hasn't, your body's kind of basically been thrown out of its routine. So there's no point you rushing and trying to push yourself and potentially cause an injury because your ego won't let you just take that time to gradually get back to where you was. So don't try and jump right back to where you were. Try and take it a little bit easy, see how your body feels, see how it responds and carry on. And also include rest days as and when you feel like you need them. If you normally can do like for example a push pull leg split like I do and repeat them, which is six days a week. If you don't feel like you can do that, be sure to slot in the rest days as and when you feel like you need them. Just because you want your body to recover so you can train sooner rather than going all out the first day and being so sore you can't move and you've wasted the rest of your week. Um, the next thing was obviously start tracking your calories and macros just to see where you are. I started tracking my calories and macros I think on day was it 11 or something and I realised that I was under eating. I was eating like 1600, 1700 calories which is pretty low. That's something you do like near the end of a cut. When you're body recomping, this is not something you really should be doing. You should be trying to eat as much as you want to fuel your workouts and try and just allow you to kind of work even harder in whatever activity you're doing. For example, this isn't a mini cut. In a mini cut, what you do is dramatically drop your calories or dramatically increase your cardio for a short period of time just to kind of burn off some of the fat. But if you're trying to do a body recomping, you're trying to kind of pump up your muscles and also trying to build some if you can. You shouldn't be trying to drop your calories too much because it's almost doing the opposite of what you want. You know what I mean? You don't want to be dropping calories. You want to be eating as much as you can while still seeing actual progress. For example, I when I started tracking the first time around, I realized that I was having a fair amount of protein because I went back to cooking my meals, but I was having quite a lot of fats as well, which I didn't really realize, which is why I stopped having a Shazan's chicken. You saw it feature once and I don't have it again. I, I went to having chicken fillets and stuff like that, which is a lot lower in fat because those big packets of Shazan's chicken you see me eat, they're delicious, but literally each pack is 180 grams of protein, which is great, but it's also, I believe, 58 grams of fat, and that's without the skin. So that's why they're so juicy and tasty. So that was something I had to be like, yeah, I can't be having that, that was too much. One of the biggest things to take away from this video is the fact that a lot of people are always talking about cutting, when in some scenarios, you don't have to cut. You just need to put your calories back to where they should be, let your metabolism get back to normal, and also have the energy and food to actually fuel your workouts. You know what I mean? You need energy to actually train like hard, which helps you burn calories as well. Anyways, people, hopefully that five minutes of talk I can crop down. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully some of this information really did help. If so, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, see you guys, people. I'm gone.